So what does it all mean? To break it down, we take a closer look at no-fault insurance and the coverage being proposed. We also talk to lawyers who are raising serious concerns. Maria Weisgarber now on what happens if you get into a crash. When this happens and people are hurt, the province says under proposed changes to ICBC, anyone injured in a crash will have benefits available to them regardless of whose fault it was and without having to go to court. They have to do something because premiums are crazy, but I don't know if that's the solution. Well, I like the fact that they're wanting to reduce costs, and I, I agree with that. But if it's at a compromise of, of you know, people getting the uh, appropriate adjudication of their claims, I find that to be a bit of a problem. The new model would make up to 7.5 million available in benefits for those injured, up from the current $300,000 limit to cover things like physio and prescriptions, if need be, for life. They're proposing wage loss payments of up to 1,200 a week, up from the current 740, and a max of $250,000 for permanent impairment compensation, with up to $10,000 a month in personal care assistance. They lose the right to go to court. And instead, they get a care model from ICBC? Do British Columbians trust that? I don't think they should. The head of the Trial Lawyers Association of BC calls the announcement deeply worrying and a broken promise. The only people who are going to make a sacrifice in a no-fault scheme are people who are injured on our roads because they're going to get nothing for the, what they've been through for their pain and suffering. The province says people disputing their claim can go through the Civil Resolution Tribunal, BC Ombudsperson, or deal with an ICBC Fairness Officer. People can still sue in cases where the other driver is convicted of a criminal offence, and at-fault drivers will still see their premiums go up. And Maria joins us now with more on this. Maria, as we know, insurance can be very complicated. Uh, this is no exception. So break down for us once again exactly what happens with no-fault insurance when there's an accident and someone's hurt. There would be benefits available regardless of who's in the wrong without having to go to court. That's what the government is proposing as a way to keep those costs down. And now what about what the government is calling this fairness office. What do we know about that? That's actually something that was first announced last week. The province says it will deal with complaints, make recommendations for change, and all decisions will be posted online. The officer will be appointed by cabinet. They're saying it'll be another way to dispute claims independently from ICBC. Okay, much more to come on this story. It's just day one. We're just learning about this, uh, so stay tuned in future days. Thanks very much for your coverage, Maria. Absolutely. Thank you.